so hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mask holder this side so today's problem is three-way partitioning and let us have a look at the problem right so the problem gives you an array right your array is one four three six two one right and you have been given two values a and b so it a is one b is three right now the problem says that we have to make this array look something like all the elements less than a appears here all the elements greater than b appears here and all the elements in this range should appear in between right you have to partition this array into such formula right so i hope this is clear to you one such combination is if i see one so i can say one one these two ones are placed now all elements greater than b that are four and six so four six and remaining elements is two and three so two three so one of the combination is one one two three four six right now how will i proceed for this problem so my first approach is to actually sort it if i will just sort the array i will get a sorted array and that will always follow this of the operation what is the time complexity of that that will be n log n right and space complexity is o of one right now let us move to the second approach what is the second approach i will try to solve this question into o of n time complexity and o of one space complexity right so my array is one four three six two one i will use two pointers one more of my pointer is start which is at zero at and my end at n minus one at right i will move my eye from first to last move my eye from first to last. that is my i will go from 0 to n minus 1 if at any point if array of i is less than a if array of i is less than a that is that element has to be converted into this formula it has to be shifted to this sub part so what i will say i will say swap arri with arr start and then start plus plus and similarly, if ARRI is greater than B, in that case, swap ARRI with ARR end and N minus minus, right? What I'm doing is I'm placing all the elements less than A here, all the elements greater than B here, and all the elements in the between range will automatically come here. Let us have a dry run, right? Let us have a dry run. So first my I is here. 1 is less when my a is 1 my b is 3 is 1 less than 1 no so i move i forward 4 is 4 less than 4 greater than 3 yes 4 is greater than 3 so i will change it to 1 and 4 here right my array becomes this my i will remain here right after this 1 less than 1 no 3 greater than 3 no 6 greater than 3 yes so i will shift my end is now here i will shift 2 with 6 my i will move here and 2 with 6 and after that I will say is 2 less than 1 no 2 greater than 3 no so my array will be look something like 1 1 um, 3 2 6 4 and this is also a valid combination uh, the question says that you can provide any valid combination it doesn't require you to give the sorted only, sorted only right okay so let us have a look at the code now all right so the code looks something like this it is i will take the size of the array i will move my start pointer to the zero that is the first element and end to the last element i will move my i from zero to end and if i say that if actually i'm not moving my i because it might be possible because you can see in the here when i was swapping the elements i was shift changing like I, I swapped this element and i was looking at this element only in the next iteration right so i will not update my i and if ARRI is greater than than A, I will say I plus plus start plus plus after swapping them. And similarly, if ARRI is greater than B, I will again swap them and N minus minus. Now here, I will not move the I pointer forward because uh, I will not move the I pointer because I have to reiterate on the on the same position only. If both of them are not true, I will move to 
I++, right? And this will be my code. And let us try to run it. If I try to compile and run it and see what is the output. So it is running to be fine. And let us try it for submit as well. So you can see the counter going up and we have completed our uh, 128 day streak and we have got 8 weight geek points today also. So thank you guys for watching and we'll meet tomorrow in a new video. Till then keep coding and stay safe.